Abajide Sangwolu has reaffirmed his commitment to partner with private sector initiatives to provide a safe, seamless and secure transport system for Lagosians. The governor stated this during the commissioning of the Ikeja flyover bridge on Tuesday in Lagos. Correspondent Lovi Kukoyedokun was there and our reports. <laughs> It is the official commissioning of the Ikeja overpass at the Lagos Rail Mass Transit Red Line. The T-shaped bridge, which spans 620 meters, is part of the Red Line Corridor project, which aims to improve the transportation system in Lagos. It is the fourth of its kind to be completed by the Lagos State Government in the last two months. The arrival of Governor Sohunlu to the venue heightened the excitement of the people who have waited patiently to witness the epoch-making event. Straight ahead, the governor mounted the podium. Visibly happy, Sohunlu commended Lamata and CCCE for a job well done. The LMT Red Line Rail System, therefore, will be the face that will be moving over 500 passengers on a daily basis, which will stretch over 27 kilometers all the way from Agbado in Ogun State to Oyimbo, with eight stations at Agbado in Iju, in Agege, in Ikeja, in Oshodi, in Mushi, in Yaba, and it will eventually terminate at Oyimbo. Our administration is committed to the goal of achieving a zero carbon in our state, with the expectation of becoming an emission neutral city by the year 2050. The governor said the bridge will not only save time for commuters and motorists, but also transform the state into a modern mega city. I'm happy to inform Lagosians that we're moving the pilot phase in 2024 with the deployment of additional 50 electric buses within the first quarter. The federal government have also promised to support us with an additional 100 EV, I mean CNG buses within the first or second quarter, we are also making commitments to see if we can raise about a thousand CNG buses before the end of 2024, so that indeed Lagos can be on the road, on the journey, at ensuring that we can compete favorably with other sustainable, reliance and resilient cities that we have in the globe. In his remarks, Kwara State Governor Abdurrahman Abdurazak, who witnessed the commissioning, praised the Lagos State government for its visionary leadership and focus on national development. We have seen consistent impressive improvement in infrastructure development across all sectors in Lagos State, including those that support mass transit systems. The Kejava Pass and similar projects like it are bold testament and testimony in this respect. But particular what you have noted is the huge advantage policy consistency makes, and that is what we're seeing in Lagos, consistency and progression in government. Earlier in her welcome address, the managing director of LAMATA, engineer Abimbola Akinajo, highlighted more about the project. The 10 level crossings were identified along the Red Line Rail Corridor, over which overpasses were agreed to be built. Five were allocated to Lagos State Government and five others to the Federal Ministry of Transport. These bridges are an essential part of the Lagos Rail Mass Transit Red Line project to ensure the safety of the people of Lagos. The LRMT Ikeja overpass is one of these. For his part, Commissioner for Transportation, Uluwa Sheung, Oshiyemi warned against hawking, selling, and bike riding on the bridge. Love Ikuku Oyedukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.